Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus again. Yes, this is still Memorial Day. And this is a nice session, and Eddie Marcus is back with something else to share with you. I've taken some notes. And I want to say to all of you that are listening to me, this night, God gives. That's who I advocate for, God. And man steals. All that is in existence is a given. It's free for the purpose for which it can be used for whomever needs it, wants it, or desires it. I offer that poverty and all its cousins and uh, crime and violence and the like. They exist because that which was given freely is being stolen by those that deceive. They hide the truth and perpetuate the lie, bundled through a system, a system of legitimacy called government, created and controlled by the con men, the thieves. Now, all truth travels the path of spirit. So I'm saying if you're getting some truth, it came initially from the spirit and not from some man thinking. It travels through spirit and truth and spirit together. They do not lie. However, this is uh, considered foolishness. But like a pet lover communicates with their little darlings and they with them, as foolish as it might seem to some, to those pet lovers, the communication is fact, just as the spirit is fact, just as God is fact. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, food, clothing, shelter, education, health care, scientists, engineers, doctors, Cars, trains, boats, planes, spaceships, spoons and forks, artists, singers, dancers, and etc. They are all gifts, free, including the electric lights, including the telephone including the computers, including GPS, everything free from God to and for the joy of creatures known as humankind. These gifts ben are beneficial to everyone and everyone plays a joyous part in the manifestation of it all. Therein we have peace and prosperity and freedom, joy and dreams made real for everyone. It is the blessings of God to creation. Now all that God gives, deception has stolen, put a price on it. Now the people have to slave for what God has given freely. Mm -hmm. The result is for the benefit of a few. Jails and prisons are filled. Abuse toward one another is constant. Poverty, again, crime and violence, terror and hatred, 
racism and bigotry, war, just to name a few. Now, this is just as much a fact of spirit as it is with the pet owners or the pet lovers communication with their little darlings, regardless of how foolish it might appear to others, it is still a fact. Now, ladies and gentlemen, right now we are hearing a lot of stuff about what white America is doing to itself. It's white supremacy is fighting amongst itself for the control of the system of government that has power and authority over people. The Democrats are a little bit more decent than the Republicans. The Republicans have the idea that they want to take black people and people of color back to a day when they had no voice in government. They want to railroad them. They want to abuse them to the highest order. This is what they are indicating from the lies and the evilness that they are willing to perpetuate in order to try to deceive this nation <laughs> and into following their dictates. Isn't it amazing? This evilness. And I say it's evil because it's built on lies. Now, that doesn't say that the whole nation isn't built on lies. Yes, it is. All nations of the world are built on lies. But you know America is built on a lie. But what is happening now is a triple lie. I mean, it's the biggest lie you can ever imagine. So you know it's got to be the devil. But what I want to say to Trump and all of his followers and I want to say it to the Republicans, and I want to say it as well to the Democrats and white hate groups. The days of abuse of blacks and people of color are over. No longer will we bend to your will. And unless you change and start becoming more righteous and get rid of that evil devil that you're following, your days are numbered. Not by me or black uh, people of color, but by God. Some might ask, what is all of this about? Personally, ladies and gentlemen, I am constantly sharing with you what you don't know. That there is a God, a loving God, that has prepared that you might live on this earth as though you're in heaven. That you don't experience that, and most people on the earth don't experience that, because of people like Donald Trump. Because of people like Putin. Because of people like Mussolini. Because of people like Hitler. Because of peace, peace people like the Republican Party that's giving all of their energy to Donald Trump. This is what denies the peace and prosperity and freedom. These are the people that want to rule, take over God's world. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's not good enough for us, the democratic nations, it's not good enough for us to just stay democratic as we are known to be. It is time for us to rise to the highest order of democracy. That basically means that we, the people in this democratic process, accept the fact that the power of life is in God's hand and that we who are in these bodies living in these days and times, the life we live will be governed and guaranteed by the respect that we give and receive from one another. And we make a decree that we're going to give our best and we're looking forward to receive the best. This is the new step forward. This is how we run away from devils like Trump. This is how we run away from devils like those people out there. Ooh, they, don't, they make you sick every time they open their mouths. But they think they're right. They think that it is proper to abuse other folks. See, that's what evil has taught them. And they believe it. 
And if you just want to try to stay around in a little safe zone that we are familiar with, then evil will take America down. But America must stand up. America must stand for its highest order like never before. And the rest of the world, democratic portion, you must stand like you've never stood before. Stand for righteousness. And, and evil has no place to rest. Until next time, Eddie Marcus saying goodbye.